Hello everyone. I wanted to make this video on here because I made it on my group page um, on Facebook, but I thought you guys would benefit from this. So I want to share with you guys um, some books that I enjoy reading. Okay, I've had, this is my second copy of this book. And uh, Alexa, stop. I don't know. Okay, so I enjoy this book. I like how she puts a personal touch um, in this book with uh, personal stories. And I like the, the, the pictures in there. There's a chart for the Orishas. And there's um, different different charts, uh, a few. I don't, uh, one of the corresponding Catholic saints, um, chart of the seven African powers, which is the Orishas, the seven, you know, well-known ones. And uh, just different, um, different stories and uh, spiritual remedies that you can do. Just really good informative stuff. Like, I really like it. And I like the personal touch of, um, you know, her opinion and stories and so on. There's a candle chart um, as well. There's a candle chart. And um, there's a, like one for attracting love. And there's one where you can make a jar. And the ingredients that you need <clears throat> I haven't done this one um, grounding the candles how you can do that and put in it in a jar and that's like pretty like safe you know for safety I like that and um, just different like rituals I've had this book for like so many years you know um, yeah you can tell I'm going to put my, my, my bookmark back in here. I'm going to find the page for the bookmark. But um, this is like a really good book to read. I would say, I would advise anyone that is interested in um, the Orishas. And this is something I was shy to talk about online. Like, I didn't want to talk about it because, you know, there's so much misunderstanding. But then after a while, I'm just like, you know you know, forget it because this is my culture. And it's funny in the Caribbean, if a person, you know, is Christian, they, they still practice things from their ancestors. What's so wrong about that? You know, people that were able to hold on to their culture, know their culture, they're still going to do those practices if they haven't been brainwashed um, into, you know, any of the three popular religion. And that's not, you know, me you know, I'm not hating on anything, you know, uh, everything has its uplifting power. The human spirit to me is very powerful and whatever we believe in and uh, it gives us strength, right? But for me, I think it's important to know what my ancestors here in the Americas, uh, you know, I've, I was always raised to know that I'm from America, like my ancestors are from America and they're also from Africa, that's not denying Africa. So, but a lot of people are learning about their 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 cultural history. Let me just show you the the chart. Okay, definitely get this book. Definitely purchase her book. You know, we're going through this coronavirus and stuff like that. I teach yoga, meditation. Um, uh, I incorporate teaching Qigong, medical Qigong. I'm still a medical Qigong uh, student. I'm learning uh, my second certification, then I'll do the next one next year. So the medical Qigong to me is a step up from Reiki. And Reiki is still very good. Reiki is like what you need to learn at first. But these are all tools that really from our culture, we have them, but we've lost them. So in this book, you're, you're learning about the basics and you're hearing her life story. When you, when you can hear someone's life story, you're learning so much valuable information. You're learning so much from that person because that's who we learn from our, our elders. So I wish she written more books and I, I, I am friends with her on Facebook, but I think we've probably had one conversation, but you know, a lot, I've seen a lot of book recommendation. This one is really good. And like, I, I will write on the book, like different key words that I feel is important 
you know, like if I'm if I want to come back again and I'm like, where did I read that in the book? I can find it in her book. And I always feel a spiritual connection to Louisiana. And a lot of uh, my ancestors were um, brought from the Americas, you know, to the Caribbean. If you really study the history of it, there's an island off of Mexico that was one of the trading po posts. And then Jamaica is was very, very huge in that. So, you know, unfortunately, but a lot of American tribes were brought to the Caribbean. A lot of the, a lot of us are um, from the Americas and we don't even know it. Okay. Um, a lot of the tribes that are not identified. Okay. And if you look at the old drawings, you'll see that. So that's not denying, you know, Ghana and Nigeria, you know, <laughs> you know, and Congo and, you know, all, all of these things that even people that won't claim or, or, or vocalize their, their, um, understanding for their African or indigenous culture, they use these remedies to bless their home as, as our form of feng shui. They use it to cleanse the home of negativity, especially when someone dies and their spirit doesn't want to move on. You know, we, we cleanse the home. We send them love. We have a thing called nine nights and it's a celebration of nine nights because if you didn't know by the first night, by the ninth night, you know, you did. You know, so that's like my joke that I say to my cousin in Canada, you know, I'm like, I love learning about our tradition and our ceremonies, you know, because if you didn't know, you're going to know by the ninth night. Okay. So, and go through that transition, but I absolutely love her book. I would love to meet her. I hope she comes to Las Vegas. I would love to bring my messed up book and I'll probably buy a new one and have her sign it. I love this book, man. You have to get it. Jambalaya. Okay. Um, and I don't want to mess up her name, but I, I think that everyone should definitely get a copy of this book. Get on Amazon and, and you're home to read it. Like, get it. And like, I just love it. And I love because I teach. I love how she has this like little certification here, you know, where you can see the write-up of it. It's nice because it kind of gives you an idea. And I, I have my own certification that I've written out. But I just love how creative uh, this was or this is, you know. So they should definitely, Harper One is printed this one. So definitely keep this going because this is a part of our culture that we need to learn and and understand. And then I bought, I'm going to talk about this book, but I got to make breakfast. So I got to get this rolling. Um, I really like Stephanie uh, Rose Bird. You can't go outside. Stephanie Rose Bird. Okay. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to love you. Oh, give me a second, kitty. Okay. So. A healing grove this one has remedies um, um, for the body and spirit so I have to dive into this I opened up to cinnamon okay and cinnamon is very good we need cinnamon right now with this coronavirus going around so this is a definite book you, you should order on Amazon um, and I love buying these books you know because they have so much information babe chill okay chill I gotta look up this other book because I'm going to go on my computer right now. You know, have your tea, whatever, just chill. Um, herbal. There's a lady that has an herbal book. And I was going to sell it on one of my Amazon account. Okay. Another one that I have, I put my books in my garage. Because I need the room in here for my fitness and, and stuff. Um, <clears throat> another one of Stephanie Rose Bird book is Four Seasons of Mojo. I love this. You know, a lot of people don't know. This is like not only Afro. Um, African uh, tradition, African American, but also native. Okay, the tribes that you don't know the names of, you know, whatever. I don't know if she has a Jamaican background. This says Jamaican hot uh, toddy. Okay, I, I have to like, <laughs> I'm sure. But um, yeah, she has like all these different remedies in here. I still have to go through and read this, but for each season, and this is huge to me because I believe that we should live by the season. So. You know, when it's, it's, we're at the end of winter now going into spring. So you can learn all these different techniques that you can do for the season. I'm going to hold the book up. If you're watching this channel, you can, you know, put the names down. I don't have time today because my son uh, doesn't have school this week. So I'm going to be busy and I have an online appointment um, at nine. So I'm going to do that appointment while I'm eating or online. So I've been working online. So right now everyone is panicking. But this is what I love. I love working online because it gives me the freedom to travel and to be a mom. So, you know, I work 
in the studios and um, centers and so on. So I have a job. I don't just do tarot readings, you know. So, and uh, these readings on here. So yeah, you know, this is a really good book to do. I mean, I would lo love to do this more full time, but we'll see. The algorithm here has went down on this channel. So hopefully, you know, I'm making some more videos. We'll bring it back up. Another book by Stephanie Rosen. I thought about writing a a 365 days, but it's going to be a little bit different. I don't think it'll be 365, but we'll see. Um, you know, um, moon calendar. I'm in the process of writing a moon calendar book, but there's another book that I want to finish up. Uh, so 365 days of hoodoo. I love this book, daily root work, mojo and, um, con um, <clears throat> con conjurations. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. So, oh, uh, like most, you started off with Wicca, and they really formulated Wicca from just studying different ancient texts and really put it together back in, like, what, the 60s? I can't, don't quote me on it, but, um, you know, but for our tradition, it had to definitely be word of mouth. Like, we use a lot of remedies in the Caribbean and the Americas. That is considered hoodoo, but it's not, of course, it's not bad. Stop. Ninja. Chill. Chill. Hold your horses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... You can't go outside. You have food. You're not starving. You have food and water. Chill. Okay, so I'm going to come to you. So on my Facebook page, um, I opened up. To, I said, what do I, need to op what, what do I need to know today? What does the world need to know today? And I opened up to page 176, chapter 6. Okay, and it's uh, one, 156, loving it up. And it, loving it up is like a visualization of love. Like, where are you in your in your thoughts of love? This one is a really good. Um, it was like it's perfect. Like whatever I ask, I open up, open it up. Boom, it's there. Okay. Um, I didn't bring the other book here. Um, okay, so this one's really good. Um, so definitely get the book. This is a really good book to have, and you're gonna be home anyway. So what, whichever one of these books call to you, definitely get it. Okay, I have lots, lots of books. I'm just focusing on these ones. I have a lot of herbal books to learn the different herbs. Um, and it's really good to work with the herbs that's in your location. So if you have like a, a visitor center, try to buy an herb book that is in your state. You know, what the, the indigenous people used to use, you know, um, and, and what naturally grows there, okay? So that's a one good herb book to get based on your state or, or your country where you are. Okay, um, healing with herbs and home remedies A through Z. How to heal your mind and body with herbs, home remedies, and minerals. Hannah Kroger. Hannah, Hannah without a, the H at the end, okay? So I'm going to hold this for a long time because I don't like it when people do book, book reviews and they move the book so flipping fast. I'm like can but you can pause it you know pause it like personal uh, responsibility here so in this book this is what it looks like okay this is what the pages look like okay just so you can see what the pages look like and it's, it doesn't have like paragraphs i would say but it has you know enough information for you you know usually you have to get more than one book on a particular topic you know and and you know, asking people, hey, do you have this book? In, in this comment page, don't be afraid. A lot of people are afraid because people can be so rude online. I've experienced it and I just delete them or block them. Um, you know, it's like, please. Anyway, so, you know, just like uh, digestion. This one's important to me because um, as a parent, like, I this is like one of the things, you know, you want to make sure you're giving them the right foods so that they build up a, a good Im immune system and so on, right? So that one is really, really good. It tells you, you know, vitamin A, B, C, and E are the vitamins and minerals and the home remedies that, that you can do. They mentioned flaxseed, sage tea, um, zucchini, basil, uh, celery, okay? Okay, well, I just say that alpha, I can't even say that right. <laughs> so um, basically, yeah, it's a good book. And um, I would recommend, the one that I would recommend is uh, Rosemary um, Galstar. I'm butchering her name. Um, Medical Herbs, okay? I have that book. I have two of them, and I'll probably see if someone wants to, that I know locally wants it. Uh, 
The book is called um, Medical Herbs, A Beginner's Guide, 33 Healing Herbs to Know, Grow, and Use. That book is a good one to get. Um, yeah, that one is really good. There's one that's called Herbal Medicine for Beginners by Katia Swift, K-A-T-J-A. And last name Swift, W S W I F T. I haven't. I flipped through the book at Barnes and Noble because I'll I order on Amazon. I've been ordering on Amazon since 1995. Okay, because where we were living was a small town, and I I needed. I was so always interested in magic, and you know the idea of magic is really when you look at it earthly in this earth realm, it's science, it's herbology, it's learning how to heal yourself, it's living as one with nature. So I was like looking for those books and they weren't in libraries, you know, where I grew up, you know, and then where I moved to in the South, you know, it wasn't available. <laughs> so yeah, so those are the books I wanted to recommend. I feel like I did show you guys everything. So I, you know, I, I really love, um, uh, Stephanie Rose Bird because I feel like it's so important for us to hold on to our our um, our culture and support each other and everyone can practice anyone that wants to practice hoodoo I practice qigong tai chi um, you know but it's really good to buy buy from these artists who their ancestors were the one using hoodoo to protect themselves in the Americas the best way they can and to heal themselves and others okay so, and that's all over the Americas. Okay. So I don't say America, I say the Americas. So, but I want to definitely shout out this book to definitely get it. I feel like she's, um, already a living legend for people in the, the hoodoo, um, spiritual, uh, world. Um, someone that I just met an acquaintance had a, a, a hoodoo, uh, had a, a book, um, but it's out of print. And uh, I'll share it. You know, his face isn't in the picture. So I'll ask him, hey, can I share this on my YouTube um, discussion board? And I'll show you the cover of the book. The cover that he has has no picture on it. It's a blue book. Um, and the one that's, when I looked it up on Amazon, it had a picture on there, but it's out of print. And a lot of our books, it was printed like in 1990. I, I can't remember the name of it. Esu? E S U and something else. I can't pronounce it, but a lot of the books about our culture, our herbs is really needed. And I want to shout this out. You know, if any authors are in Nigeria, someone needs to and be legitimate, like be legit, right? Legit all the way, write a book on herbs and plants from Nigeria and the medical properties of it, like something that everyone can grasp. I think there, you know, I, I was like, man, I would love to write a book like that. But, you know, someone from Nigeria really needs to publish a book. And I've, I've looked up herbs that are from there um, and, and plant life too. You know, the beginning of the book should be about the herbs there and what they're used for. And then also the plant life. And, and then also even stuff like different yams, you know, different um, uh, food that grow under the earth, you know, um, and, and also put in there which I know the time, the phase of the moon that's best to plant for, for food that grows out of the earth and for foods that grow in the earth. So all this farming stuff, our ancestors knew how to live by the moon. You know, the, our ancestors in the Americas and our ancestors in and the continent of Africa. So it's learning how to farm by the moon and someone of, of Nigerian background that knows knows it there if you're watching this video share it with someone need to write a book the first part on herbs you know and the second one on plants there that originally from there because a lot of people they'll have their gardens they don't know where it really comes from a lot of things are from other places and then also you know the third part could be you know things in threes is really good but the third part could be you know planting by the moon and even um food that's grown in the earth can also be nutritious for us, but also could be used um, 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 medically, like, you know, what vitamins come from this this herb and um, this plant, um, this herb and, and this type of food, you know? So that would be great if someone could, like, do that, you know? That would be really cool. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so there's some books I'm still working on, but um, 
yeah, I just wanted to share those books with you guys. Everyone is into in this quarantine. Um, that's what we are right now. But these are some books that you can read spiritually. Uh, that's really good. Okay, and this four this four season one I think is pretty cool, and and so is you know so is um the the, the healing grove, you know, um, three hundred and sixty five days of hoodoo, and then this one is not um, a hoodoo book, but any kind of herbal book is good to have in your collection, and of course jambalaya definitely have to get that that should be in everyone's before it's out of print I feel you know and I love the, that is still the original cover. You know, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, uh, I hope you guys like this. If you would like more recommendation books, let me know. I'm happy to do it. Everyone stay safe on this Tuesday. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm like, I don't want to mess up, but yeah, you know, stay, stay, stay good on this Tuesday and, um, every day, you know, play a song, um, that's associated with a, a Orisha is a good way to start your day and just kind of have those thoughts in, in, in your mind, you know, set the energy and the tone of the day, you know, and um, yeah, just have your own spiritual practice, your own awareness. That's it. I got to roll. All right. Talk to you guys later. Peace.